book and then, oh hey Ariel! Hey girls! Are you happy to be back at school after winter break? Absolutely! I missed everyone so much! Me too, but I am a little sad that Christmas is over. I know, I had so much fun and I got a lot of really cool gifts this year. Same here. Olaf got me this cute little snow globe. Well, actually it was a sun globe because all that was inside was sand and sun and a teeny weeny little Olaf. Oh, adorable. Eric and Flounder got me a whole new set of dingle hoppers. I mean forks. I mean hair combs. Ugh. How perfect! So like I was saying, Prince Adam got me this book and then it led me on a scavenger hunt which took me to a rose garden where he had planted every color rose you could imagine. It was so cool. Oh my gosh, wow! Kristoff got me the cutest little stuffed unicorn. Do you wanna see? Of course. Oh my gosh, that is perfect for you, Anna. Does it have a necklace? Ah, oh, so pretty. Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks like it has a little inscription. Huh, I never noticed that before. What's it say, Anna? It says, things are never what they seem. Believe in the magic of your wildest dreams. Whoa, what's happening? I don't know. This reminds me of what happens when we rub Jeannie's lamp. It's a, a, a unicorn! I can't believe it! <gasps> they are real! I've only ever read about them in fairy tales! <laughs> oh. Hello, princesses! Uh, um, hello! Who are you? My name is Queen Twyla, ruler of the unicorn realms. Wow! It's always a pleasure to meet another queen around here. Oh, yes, are you here on official queen business? As a matter of fact, I am. I'm here to see you, Anna. Me? Really? <clears throat> of course. You have been given a very special gift. This is Crystalina, the unicorn. <sighs> Crystalina? Wow, she's beautiful. And she's very, very special. Whomever reads the unicorn charm becomes her official keeper. <coughs> we have a unicorn! I mean, Anna has a unicorn! Oh, well, we can share her, can't we, Queen Twyla? Of course you can. But you, Anna, are Crystalina's best human friend. She will always be loyal to you when you call upon her and only follow your commands. What kind of commands? Anything. Why don't you give it a try? Okay. Uh, Crystalina, show us your moves. <laughs> wow! Would you like to go for a ride? A magical unicorn ride? <laughs> of course. Is there any other kind of unicorn ride? Thank you, Queen Twyla. Have fun. And when you're done, you can read the second inscription on the back of her charm to turn her back into a toy for a while. <laughs> okay, come on, girls. Let's go. Woohoo! This sure beats taking the bus home from school. But you got that right. This is amazing. I wonder what else Crystalina can do. Yeah, try something else, Anna. Crystalina, can you take us to Belle's castle? Whoa! I can't believe it! I know! Why didn't I think of that? Ugh, that Kristoff always trying to outdo the rest of us princes. Uh, Kristoff isn't a prince, and neither are you. I'm a prince on the inside, LeFou, and that's all that matters. Now all I need is to find my princess. I thought you were gonna forget about Belle this year and focus on some new intro songs with me! No one! Figure it out, I need you to help me. Figure it out so we can both just sing. 
Well, I did forget her, but now I just remembered her again. A prince and a poet. You're the whole package, Gaston. The whole package? <gasps> That's it! I'll get Belle a gift! Wow, Gaston! A gift straight from the heart? That's a great idea. No more bad villain plans. No more stealing. No more lying or cheating or... Steal? <gasps> That's it! We'll steal Anna's unicorn and give it to Belle as a gift! Oh, great idea, Gaston. Yeah! Wait, what? Come on, LeFou, let's follow Whoa. that unicorn! Right behind you! Whoa! We're going even faster than on Jasmine's carpet! I know, but it feels like we're floating from cloud to cloud. Great job, Crystalina! Let's go in for a landing. Wow! Is that what I think it is? Yeah, that's Anna's new unicorn. Crystal got it for her for Christmas. That's amazing. A unicorn kind of puts my rose garden gift to shame. That darn Kristoff. <laughs> oh no, Adam, I love my gift. You know roses are my favorite. Oh no, I don't think Kristoff even knew Kristalina was a real unicorn when he got her. Really? She looks pretty real to me. Oh, no, no, I mean, she just started out as a stuffed toy. Yep, and now we can play with her whenever we want. Or take her for rides to school. That's incredible. Well, would you ladies like some tea? Mrs. Potts has been brewing up a storm in there. That sounds great. Anna, do you want to try reciting the other side of the charm and see what happens? Good idea, Belle. It says, Sue will take flight to the skies, but for now, return to your fluffy disguise. <laughs> Yay! It worked just like Queen Twyla said it would. Great. But Anna, would you mind leaving Crystalina outside? If she accidentally turns into a unicorn again, Cogsworth will throw a fit. He just had all the rugs in the castle cleaned. Sure. We'll be right back. You stay right here, girl. Mrs. Potts makes the best tea. Gaston, look! Where's the real unicorn? I think this is Anna's unicorn, Gaston. And look! Kristoff even put a tag on it! He thinks of everything! What? Wait! What is this? There's some sort of ancient text! Um, let me try. The things, things. are things. not exactly... You know what, LeFou, you... you read it. Things are not exactly as they seem. Believe in the magic of your wildest dreams. Oh, that's what I was about to say! Whoa! <laughs> wow! Oh, I love unicorns! Me too! I, I mean, um, uh, they're fine. Oh, can we go for a ride, please? Fine, but just a quick spin around the block. Oh, 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 I call front! I call front! Wait for me! Woohoo! Uh, this is the best day of my life! Woohoo! I'm the king of the world! Uh, Better turn back. No. Oh, how about a few more minutes, please? I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering. Wait, LeFou! Spl LeFou! Turn this thing around immediately! All right, take us back to Belle's castle. Uh, giddy up. Uh, hi! <laughs> Where? I thought I heard Crystalina out here. Do you think she turned real again? She must have. Can't find her anywhere. <gasps> Look up there! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Gaston and LeFou riding a unicorn? What? They must have found her out here and then read the inscription on her unicorn charm. Crystalina does not seem to be cooperating with them. She's all over the road! The sky, the sky road. Oh no! Gaston! What? Read the back of the necklace! Ah, the back ah, of the necklace! Oh, the what? The, the, the back of the necklace! Read the back! Oh. I think it's too bumpy, Gaston! You try! Oh, I just learned how to spell Maleficent last week! 
Don't rush my progress! You're right! I'm sorry! Ah! <sighs> I don't think this is going to work. Wait, Anna, you're Crystalina's keeper, right? Can you remember the inscription on the back of the necklace? I, I don't know, I only read it once. Hmm, let's think. It had something to do with a fluffy disguise? Oh yeah, I think it goes, soon we'll take flight to the skies for now return to your fluffy disguise. Oh, oh yes, Don, I don't feel so good. Oh, 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 I think it's working. Oh, oh, this isn't good. Oh, oh, oh. I think I see the tavern from here. Oh, 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 oh. Go, Anna. Hey, careful with her. What do you have to say for yourself, boys? Yeah, would you like to tell me why you stole my unicorn? Yeah, and why you were snooping around my castle? We, we. <sighs> it's on. Hey, friends, it's me. Elsa, your frozen sister from another mister, you know, me, the Snow Queen. I'm coming to you live from Arendelle Castle. Actually, it's my room. Um, so, this is my first vlog. Thanks so much for tuning in. I have got to tell you all about my birthday party. It was crazy. It started out just like any other day until I realized it was my birthday. <sighs> Happy birthday, Sis! And look, I made your favorite breakfast in bed with waffles! Woo! Anna, I'm so excited. This has been a great start to my birthday. Oh, this is gonna be such a fun day. Our friends should be over in just a few hours. I invited all of them to your birthday party. Woo! I can't wait. Okay, I'll finish getting ready and then I'm gonna eat my yummy waffles. Awesome, I'm gonna go finish getting everything ready. The day was going great. Anna had sent invitations to all of my friends, like Belle. Elsa's birthday party? Uh, of course I'll be there. Moana? No one knows how far I'll go for Elsa's birthday. It's gonna be so fun. And Cinderella. Elsa's birthday? Uh, I have the best present for her. Oh, I'm so excited. But there was someone else who got an invitation or stole an invitation, I should say. All right, let's see what Aurora got in the mail today. Thanks again for stealing these for me, Diablo. Anything for you, boss. Bills, bills, hmm, Starbucks promotion, coupons, credit card offer. Wait a minute, what is this? You are invited to Elsa's birthday? She's having a birthday party and didn't invite me? Ooh, that's wicked cold. My birthday was last week. No one threw me a birthday party. No one got me a gift. Ugh. Elsa would never know how that feels. She has so many friends and gets whatever she wants. Wait a second. I believe I just saw a new spell in Spellbook Quarterly for a new switch up spell. Let's see here. Ha! Perfect, there it is. Finally, I'm going to get the birthday I always deserved. Let's see, Abracaboo and diddly do. I need an evil necklace for me and you. Perfect, and I will add a cloak of deception spell just so those princesses won't catch on to my little trick. Diablo, take this to Elsa as quick as you can. Say it's a gift from an admirer. Belle, Cinderella, Moana, how are you guys? Hey, Anna, where's the birthday girl? She's still upstairs getting ready. I will go get her. You guys can put your gifts right over there. Thanks. I'm so excited. I think she's gonna love my gift. Same here. I can't wait to give her my present. Wait a second. I invited Aurora. I don't know. I don't see her anywhere. 
Well, you know her. Probably taking a nap. Classic Aurora. Oh, I'll go get it. So there I was, excited for the day, when all of a sudden, Anna came in to tell me that I had received a birthday present in the mail. Elsa, this bird just dropped off this package for you and said it was from a secret admirer. Pretty crazy. Also pretty crazy that the bird was talking to me. Anyway, here you go. Wow, that's so crazy. I wonder who it's from. Probably Olaf or something. He's so sweet. Oh my gosh, it's a necklace. Woo. Anna, will you help me put this on, please? Sure, Elsa. Ooh, it's so pretty. So, how am I looking? You look great. Um, actually, you look uh, different. <laughs> Don't be rude, sister. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you're acting weird. It's my birthday. It's a day of change. Hmm. Well, okay, everybody's here, so why don't we get this party started? Let's go. <laughs> Finally, I'm going to get the birthday party I've always deserved. Except, I don't know if this cloak of deception spell is working as well as it should. Um, Elsa, are you coming? Yes, you little brat. <laughs> I mean, I am just so excited, sweet sister, to celebrate my birthday. You're super strange. Are you okay? Oh, it's just a little birthday butterflies, you know. Let's go. Oh my gosh, where am I? Who am I? Do I have horns? I'm, I'm, That's right, you guys. I had been turned into Maleficent, the baddest of the bad, rotten to the core villain. Not the greatest part of my birthday. Oh no, I've got to tell the girls. I've got to fix this. All right, you puny excuses for princesses. Line up and give me your gifts. <laughs> Good one, Elsa. You sound just like a villain. Yeah, is that your Maleficent impression? You sound just like her. Ah, <laughs> yes, that was my impression of that beautiful dark fairy. Um, oh, Cinderella, you look like you have a nice gift there. Yeah, here you go, Elsa. Happy birthday. Glass slippers? What am I supposed to do with this? There's no arch support, you can see right through it. Whoa, Elsa, why are you being so mean? Are you joking? No, Anna, this is the new me. Get used to it. I guess birthdays can really change people. Moana, you seem like you have a lot to say. Time to give me your present now. Um, here you go. It's my favorite island treat. A pineapple? What am I supposed to do with that? What, cut it up for a snack myself? That's what my servants are for. I'll get it. That's probably Aurora. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Maleficent, what are you doing here? You are definitely not invited to Elsa's birthday. Wait, Anna, it's me, Elsa. Good one, Maleficent, but I can tell you right now, Elsa is inside opening her presents and she does not have horns, okay, bye. But, but. <sighs> you guys, that was so weird. Maleficent was trying to come to Elsa's birthday. What, Elsa? I thought I locked her away in that tower. I mean, <laughs> I'm Elsa and she's trying to come to my birthday party? Whatever you do, do not let her in. Wait, what are you guys doing? Elsa says she wanted her hair brushed. And book held and face band. And I finished cleaning your room, Elsa. Elsa, you're having them do chores? Well, it is my birthday, isn't it? And this is what people do on their birthdays. 
Um, no, usually they eat cake and do face painting and play fun games and have lots of fun. Well, I think this is fun. Now keep brushing. I can't believe my own sister didn't recognize me. She must be under a spell or something. Needless to say, this birthday party was no fun for anyone. I had to think of something. And then it came to me. I needed a disguise. <gasps> I've got it! If that's Maleficent again, tell her she better leave or I'll turn her into a popsicle. I'll go see. Hello! I'm here for the birthday party! For Elsa's birthday? That's the one! Wait, but I didn't order a clown. Nope! Elsa called me herself! She said her sister loves clouds and it would be as great of a present for her as it would be for her! Yo! Wait a second... Elsa? Is that you? Yeah, it's me. I knew it! I'm so sorry I didn't recognize you before. What is going on? A lot. And that's okay. I think she put a spell on you. She should know by now that no spell is a match for the true love between two sisters. Well, that's not the only spell. She also magically made us swap places. That's why I look like Maleficent. And I dressed up like a clown so I could try and sneak in and reverse the spell. <gasps> that's a great idea. Yes, let's get you in there and then we can figure out how to swap this thing. Okay, go. Happy birthday. I guess this isn't a surprise since you ordered a clown, but here's your birthday clown. Clown? I didn't order a clown. Yes, you did because you ordered it for your sister because even though it's your birthday, you love your sister so much and you know that she loves clowns so much, so you ordered a clown for your sister. Wow, that clown is really emotional. My sister? Pigtails here? Ah, I don't care about her. Oh, really? Because that doesn't sound like something Elsa would say. I am the all-powerful Ice Queen, and you should all bow to me. Okay, I really can't do this anymore. I'm not a clown, I'm Elsa. Maleficent? No, she's not Maleficent, she's Elsa. I'm Elsa, I know it's getting really confusing, but I swear I'm Elsa. No, she's Elsa, although, she has been kind of a brat today. That Maleficent cast a spell on me so that we would switch places. But but I'm her and she's me. Look, I'll prove it to you guys. I will ask Elsa a question that only she would know the answer to. Okay, what is my favorite food? Sandwiches! Oh, I guess everybody already knows that one. You guys have to know it's me. I'm your friend. I mean, Belle, I know that there's nothing that you love more than the smell of a new book. And, and Cinderella, I know that you're always losing your shoe and it's hilarious and we all laugh about it. And uh, Moana, you're one of the bravest people I know. It's me, you guys. It is you, Elsa. I feel so bad I didn't recognize you before. That's okay, you were under a deception spell. Your true love for your friends must have broken the spell. I know, but I don't know how to swap us back. You'll never break that spell. Get used to the horns, sweetheart. Wait a second. This all started when you got that necklace, right? The one from Olaf. You assumed it was from Olaf, but I don't think it was from an admirer at all. In fact, I think it was from Maleficent. What? No! I don't give gifts. You do when it's really a gift for you. Take off your necklace, Elsa. It's me again! But how do we get rid of that Elsa? She needs to take the necklace off too. Never! Really? Because it's not a good color on you. You're more of a winter. You brat. I know what you're doing and I am not ever taking this off. I think we need a little magical help. Luckily, I brought Maui's fish hook. Seems like we always run into trouble with these villains whenever we're together. Chee-hoo! No! No! Do I still get to keep the presents? No way, but I do have another birthday activity for you. So, that was my birthday party. 
crazy, right? At least I had all my best friends by my side. You know, it makes her a good story, I think, though. And as far as Maleficent, well, I knew just the thing to teach her a lesson. Balloon animals? Uh, this one is um, a ball. This one is a circle. Ta-da! Happy, happy birthday to possibly my favorite human of all time. Oh, thanks, Mally. Oh, wait, that's not all. Look up. <gasps> wow, this is amazing, Mally. Even better than last year's clouds formations. You're welcome. Hey, maybe next year one of my tattoos will even spell out happy birthday. <laughs> Maui, you're so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you have planned for your big day of turning another year older? <laughs> How Wait. old are you turning, by the way? <laughs> How old are you, Maui? Uh, I don't know. I, I lost track after my 415th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> wow, looks like you've been stocking up on your vitamin C. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Some of my friends are coming over for a birthday, Laura. Do you want to join us? Me? A demigod? Hang out with a bunch of princesses? I don't think so. Besides, I have better things to do. Oh yeah? Like what? Nap. Maui! What? It's a lot of hard work, you know, being a demigod and saving the world. And stealing the heart of Defiti. That's in the past. Uh-huh, sure. <laughs> anyway, do you need anything before I head out? Um, sure. Uh, would you mind heading up to the bakery and picking up my birthday cake? You bet. <laughs> hey, Moana. Yeah? You're welcome. Maui! <laughs> to go visit Moana! Oh, me too! I've never been to Mount Nui before! Well, you are going to love it! It's like paradise! Ah! I can't wait! It's still just so weird that my invitation got lost in the mail. Well, at least Moana texted you when she didn't get your RSVP. It's true. You're right. Well, whatever about the invite, I'm just so glad we all get to go and have fun. Me too. Wait a minute. I thought Jasmine was joining us. Where is she? Flight 721 to Motunui, now boarding at gate 39. That's us! Okay, so I've got Pin the Tail on the Donkey, musical chairs, my piñata, food, and let's see, I think that's everything. <laughs> this is gonna be the best birthday party ever! So this is the magical island of Motunui. Hmm. That was so nice of Moana to invite me to her birthday party. Okay, so she didn't invite me. So what if I borrowed Belle's invitation? Finders keepers! What do you know? You're just a little parrot. Hmm, what do we have here?